Oh shit, it looks like someone got a purple, and again, it's not me. Feels good, man. Oh shit, dude. Jim, first KC Sang stab, yo. Damn, dude, that's nice. Congrats, bro. Easy crap, Skippy. Yeah, what the ice barrage? This is number 50. Yes! Oh my god, we got a purple. Dude, they need to make these purples brighter, man. They gotta make this shit brighter. It should be a purple arrow. Okay, okay, leg guards, yeah. I plan on using this for the sub-75 uh, Inferno run. So, pretty sure every TOB unique does give elite points. So, it's gonna be really good for the dragon rank. As long as it's not a dupe, it's a good item. <gasps> Second drop! And it's a smoldering stone. Oh, it looked like a primordial. It looked like a primordial, man. Oh, oh, yes. Oh my god, what a day. Oh, yes, dude. Okay, not bad. 250. Wow, that is actually insane. Um, I still need soul runes from Cerberus. Oh, there it is. Nice. Same trip. There we go. We got the 1,000 soul runes. Let's go. I'm going to make the spec pool after this trip. Yeah, this is good. Alright, let's build the spec pool. Yay, unlimited fountain of... What is the Capri Suns, dude? Yes. What are the flavors, this guys? What flavor? Cherry flavor? It's gonna be awesome. Opening us up to a lot of awesome opportunities. Perfect for God Wars. So, yeah, we're gonna be uh, setting our sights into God Wars very soon. And, of course, the next thing to do is to make the prims oh so nice not much to say other than that it's better than dragon boots by a little bit oh that's a task apparently hell yeah oh yes we got the nice prim jordans special edition so i actually have another special attack weapon that i want to incorporate into my pvming and yeah you must be saying like holy shit how many like more weapons does this guy got like how many more is he gonna showcase well, I think this is probably going to be like one of the last range weapons that I want to showcase because, yeah, uh, this will probably complete my setup overall for most ranging situations. And it is the Bone Crossbow. Very interesting weapon, uh, very underrated, especially in main game. And it makes sense, not that great in the main game as a special type weapon. But in leagues, Weapon Specialist Relic just opens up so many interested things for many different spike weapons even if they're not that great in the main game so yeah i will explain more later on okay we started the death to dorgashin for our bone crossbow and i believe now the ham rope rates are better when you start the quest so it's good to do it after this point rather than before it's actually crazy how fast you get these ham items after starting the quest Absolutely insane. The difference is super noticeable right away. Alright, let's go ahead and buy ourselves a bone crossbow for the 5x defense reduction special. So yeah, this is going to be really good at like TOB and uh, Sire and stuff where lowering the fence of a creature is pretty pivotal. Let's go show you guys the max hit of the door crossbow real quick. Alright, we're potted up. And it is 31. That's actually really nice. So that means at max I can lower with one spec 31 defense. And guess what? I have four in a row, so I can keep doing this. So the first spec of the bone crossbow, aka the first hit, will never have a miss roll. But it can still hit a zero, but a very low chance of hitting a zero. It's only like a one in 32 chance to hit a zero. Since the max is 31. That means I have a 31 and 32 chance to hit something, which is really nice. Also, I'm range, so at TOB, when you are going up against the boss at the start, I can get the first hit, and it's pretty much a guaranteed hit, so help with lowering down the defense of, like, Sarpis and Dark Beast and all those really easily, earlier than other people can. Finning in the Bone Crossbow has been pretty challenging because I have to now learn how to use three different spec weapons and make them all like work out well with each other so it's not the easiest thing but of course i've been practicing experimenting dying a lot trying to get it right and i've kind of came to a few conclusions here so at least 
I found some really good uses for the bone crossbow at TOB. The first one is at Dark Beast. It's really nice to get one spec every phase because it's pretty much guaranteed land. So it's definitely worthwhile. And also at Zarpus, it has 250 defense. So the bone crossbow does a lot of work. You can unload all five specs and probably contribute somewhere between 50 to 100 defense reduction just off the bone crossbow alone. Really good for teams that don't have too many BGSs or melee specialists. Lastly, it's decent at bloats if your team doesn't have many BGSs or weapon specialists. Opening the bone crossbow each down phase is nice as well. I did a few raids with Soul Mission and Verif fellow YouTubers, and you probably have seen these clips already in their channels. I'm gonna keep it short, but yeah, I think we did like six or seven, and Soul Mission ended up getting four drops. That's crazy, man. Three of them were back to back too as well. I can't wait for my turn to spoon up. Here we go, here we go. Oh damn, another purple? Not for me! Awesome. Alright, what is it? <laughs> Let's see what it is. Oh my god, I just got the pet though! What? <laughs> yo, I don't understand. Yo, that's so funny. I actually got a pet. Oh, hey, hey, that's not even bad. I guess that's where all the RNG uh, was stored up at, huh? <laughs> yeah, I kind of wanted to get a boss pet for points. And I was going to do it at Sire because that, that was actually better rates than normal game. But, man, it's it's insane. When it comes to TOB pet, I, I'm just lucky at that this pet. Every character, Juan Man, Ray, Mr. Ironbar main game. And in leaks. Crazy. <laughs> Uh, yo. Okay, well, we have both race pets, you know? We have the omelette, and we have the little, I mean, big fat spider pet. Oh, shit. Finally, boys, we got a purple. Yay, our second purple. That helps a lot, because I'm getting a little tilted trying to master this goddamn bone crossbow. Here we go. Ooh, face guard. That's nice. One more, uh, one more of... Just this sheer piece, hopefully it's the body and we don't get any more dupes. Damn, yeah, this boss is definitely zero defense right now because I haven't hit a single zero with my blowpipe. Nah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy getting all the purples. Chest guard, wow. Kinda wanted that, you know, I'm so close to completing it. <laughs> All right, I'm about to get some quick points off a of fight case. Haven't really done some of the easy stuff. So Jad in 35, Jad in 25. And there's also one for five times. Blowpipe is just uh, on a mission right now, you know, to destroy everything within two seconds. <laughs> All right, let's see how Blowpipe does on the major with Void. If it starts missing, then I think crystal armor is probably better. But no, I don't think I'm missing much. So looks like we're good. Oh my god, dude. I, that blowpipe spec stack is so crazy. Alright, let's see if I can kill it before the healer spawn. I think I can. I mean. <laughs> kill it before the healer spawn, please. Come on. Uh, Stop missing. There we go. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I, I thought I was actually gonna barely make it, but never mind. We have plenty of time left. Okay, just gotta do two more fight caves throughout the next two days. One more, Alk. Yes, another 99. Easy peasy. My combat is almost done. Of course, prayer is gonna be like the last thing. Yo, this might be it. Yes, I think it is. Yes! 25 million Hunter XP. Wow. What a grind. I think this grind took approximately somewhere between 5 to 10 hours. There it is. 500 herbs done. Okay. Very rewarding. So many points. Got us to 26,200. And on the herbs. Alright, here we go. The best herbs. 92 Torsto. 120 Ranars, 74 Snapdragons, 200 Cadentines, 167 Quorum, and the rest. 
There we go. Yay. Now I can actually enjoy Mother Little Mind because I got that nice shortcut that I can use. I've been looking forward to this shortcut for a while now. The past few days. Oh, so nice. Lots of spots to mine here. Really close by to the bank and all the hoppers and stuff. Alright, this is gonna get me 99 farming right here. Nice. Alright, really easy to get to 25 mil. My god, you gotta thank TLB though. All the high level seats just from that one spot. Took a day out from streaming so I can listen to some music and chill. But I did make some gains, did all the quests that I could do, I think, to increase my chance of getting that 100 tiers task done for the diaries later on. Finally, dude, red bead. Oh my goodness. I, I shit you not, guys. I literally spent probably an hour just to get four beads. Damn, this is crazy. Holy shit. So many people here in Furl 2 doing the uh, Shades of More minigame. I heard it's super good XP AFK wise. So, yeah, I guess that's why everyone's here. Not just to do this minigame, but actually for XP. <laughs> Alright, I got myself to 145 quest points, but I want more. I think there's at least one more quest I can do. And of course, it's going to be Sins of the Daddy. Pretty much our hardest quest that we can do this league. And a really fitting one, because it unlocks pretty much our last area that we didn't access, right, in Mauritania. The Avendis Flail came in super clutch, because it was wrecking my partner for this tempo tracking here but i was able to just freeze it with the spec so it couldn't hit my guy anymore come on nice finish the man off uh pretty easy fire max combat stats and whatnot yay sins of the dead is done hell yeah put all this to herb alert but yeah that's good. We got a lot of new content we can access for points later on. Here we freaking go. 147 quest points. All or nothing. Alright, this is gonna get me to 70 agility, I believe. Yes. Really easy to train agility with my regions. I'll be heading to Sepulchre later on. But yeah, 70 means access to Saradomen God Wars. That's going to be the first God Wars boss that I want to focus on after service because Saradomen gives me the best bang for my buck in terms of darts. To end my night, I think I'm going to go and get base 70s. Only got a few skills to do. We got room crafting, really easy. Construction, really easy. Thieving, again, pretty dang easy. Fire making, especially easy. Man, what a ghetto way to get to the death altar, yo. Definitely never did room crafting this way, I'll tell you that. That is for sure. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Always down for some interesting experiences. Alright, we got 70 room crafting. Alright, so for future runecrafting, we're going to be hitting up those Dahlia Essence from Darkmire to speed up our runecrafting a bit more. Apparently, I forgot to record my thieving, but honestly, you're going to see a bunch of those chest things at Dorgashan later on when I train higher levels. But yeah, base 70 is done. I think thieving was actually like the slowest. Decided to nab 2000 total for the points as well, just because I was so close. So, we got that too. Make sure you ultra compost your crystal tree. Because that gives you more shards. I don't even know how I managed to get that, to be honest. Dang, sometimes RuneScape pathing is so troll and you just get ricocheted. Way too far. Now that Herbie Board is done, our next big point grind is going to be at Sokano, mostly for skilling. And I have to do up to 500. I'm not really sure if I'm going to go with the full 500 because it's actually insanely slow compared to Herbivore. It's like three times slower. Uh, but anyways, lots of points there. There's like the Tool Seed and the Dram Pickaxe Shard. They're both 250 points. Getting like the KC Milestones are also points. 
and you get a ton of experience and all kinds of skills. So this is one of the more efficient ones to do. It'll take some time to finish this grind. Oh, dude, crystal tool seeds, second one I've seen. Damn. Oh, what? A Sokano shard, dude? Damn. That's the first one I've seen. Yeah, dude. They're all 250 points to get, so. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.